is a hundred times better than any cinnamon roll. Alright, here we go for the mythya. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're accomplishing a lifelong dream of ours to live internationally, and we now call Germany our home. With so many new cultures, religions, landscapes, and foods to experience, we have been busy immersing ourselves to our new life abroad, one country at a time. In six short months, we have traveled to Iceland, Greece, and many other nearby countries. We've had tons of crazy experiences, like chasing a guy down who stole our backpack in Croatia, and crying when we first laid our eyes on the Dolomites. We've tasted our way through southern Germany and fallen in love with Kaiserspätzle, Schnitzel, and even the street food Duna. In this video, we taste northern Germany's most popular foods, and believe us, it's that good you're gonna get hungry watching. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to our Hamburg food video. We are so excited to take you along our journey. We're on a mission to find northern Germany's most popular foods. Our first stop is here at a bakery, of course, because what do you do when you're in Germany? You go to a bakery. Bakery. So we are starting out our morning going to be trying Franz Brochen. We got it and it looks different than what I've seen from pictures online. Apparently Franz Brochens are styled in different designs. Ours looks like this. But I've seen other ones that have like swirls on two different ends. So is that common? Is there like different kinds of Franz Brochens? This one was a Euro 65. I'm gonna take a bite here real quick before Willa does because she's seen it and she is on the prowl. So here we go. Mm. <laughs> it is really good. I almost feel like there's like a wheat flour in that. Hey. <laughs> so it tastes like a cinnamon roll without frosting. And I've gotta say, I am a cream cheese frosting girl on cinnamon rolls, so there's a part of me where I want a little bit of a glaze or something, but the dough is so good. Biting into it is so nice. It's just soft. It's chewy. It's got all the different layers and the flakes in between. The cinnamon texture, the cinnamon sugar flavor is delicious. Man, I think we'll have to get some more of these during our time here in Hamburg. Thank you. Soon. a hundred times better than any cinnamon roll. <laughs> Don't you think, Bella? Magst du Fischbrotchen? Huh? Magst du Fischbrotchen? Do you want to eat? Okay guys, I am ex super excited. I got there, it wasn't open until 10.30, so I was 10 minutes there before it opened, and there were like a dozen other people there right after I got there, just waiting in line. So, really, really fortunate. Got some of the freshest ones of the day. We got two Fischbrotchen, and the first one is called, um, it is a, uh, it has onion on it. I'm gonna have to open it up here, but it's called um, Metia, which is a uh, herring, I believe, fried herring. And then this other one is called Ebel, and this is a shrimp. And so, I'm, I'm super excited. This one's definitely still warm, the shrimp one's definitely still warm. So let's give it a try. Here, baby, you hold on to this one, okay? Let's just toss it over the edge. Oh, baby. All right, here we go for the mythya. Mmm, wow. You might think me a mouth crazy, but the first flavors that I got was actually a ginger snap. <laughs> what? Like molasses? Like ginger snap was like the first taste, but then definitely, definitely that salty herring came in later. Fantastic though. I'm really happy Tanner got the shrimp one. I haven't tried the fish one yet, but man, this one looks delicious. Here we go. I'm a big fan of shrimp. Mmm, so good. The bread gives it such a good crisp. Wow, the shrimp are chewy, so flavorful. You can tell this is fresh. Shrimp one, I would have that one again, for sure. This one, based on Tanner's reaction, not sure what to think. I'm getting, this looks 
like a live fish almost is in here. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Here we go. There is the seasoning, or maybe just the fish, the flavor is, <laughs> what the heck? I know. <laughs> maybe I not, know. maybe that's just me. I almost got like a curry flavor. <laughs> so what the heck are Tanner and I tasting? I'm gonna get it with some onions this time. The bite was surprisingly better than I thought. I really like it mixed with the onions and the bread. It's a fun change of flavor for us. I feel like we haven't tasted anything like this ever. I mean, this is our first fish brochin. But these are fun flavors and textures to try. Like, if you come to Hamburg, you have to stop and get these. We went to Doc 10 to get these because our host, oh my gosh, he's the best. He told us that these are rated one of the best places in Hamburg. So, hence why we came here. Definitely recommend this. It is a must if you come to the city. You have to try it. All right, to see if this is better. All right. Not gonna go wrong with either one of them. Honestly, I'm conflicted. I think I could get both of them again and be equally as satisfied. This has been awesome, amazing time. Thank you so much from our local host for recommending this spot here at Brooka 10. This has been amazing. We really have loved trying the different flavors, the sauces, breads, whatever seasonings they have, and you can taste the absolute freshness of this fish. Mm. So this plate is probably one of the most interesting concoction of foods that we've had in Germany and we're pretty excited. This is called Laubskau. We got this from a place called Frau Mühle and this place was hopping. We had to take it to go because we're trying to get Willa down for her nap. She was falling asleep on the way here. So this little concoction down here that looks like refried beans is actually salted meat or corned beef, potatoes, and onions. We're not sure which one we got. Here we go. So I'm going to start right off with it. Nice healthy serving. Definitely our potatoes in here. I want to say this is corned beef. Mmm. Oh yeah, you can kind of see, it's hard to tell, but you can kind of see some of the, like the meat fibers. Man, this is interesting. Yeah, it's very salty. Mmm. Yeah, that is surprisingly tasty. Uh, I'm going to stay steer clear of the beets because I know what those taste like. Pickles the same. I'm going to go straight for this herring. I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat it with as so, it got me kind of nervous. What's in the middle of it? Looks like a pickle. Or a, a pickled cucumber, as you guys say here. Wow. Oh wow, salty. My goodness. It looks just like it's all skin, but it is pickled herring. They've held it together nicely with these little toothpick like popsicle sticks. Wow, this is surprisingly good. <laughs> I don't know if I should be eating this with the egg and like egg yolk mixed in. So my first bite I'll do plain and then after, if I like it, I will have it with some egg yolks. Not as bad as I thought. Honestly, my expectations for this dish were not high. I've talked to some locals in the area and they said, it's not really my thing, but it's still popular here. It's okay, like it's definitely salty. I feel like the first bite was initially better than the aftertaste. The aftertaste isn't exactly my favorite. Already though, I can like feel the oils on my lips and in my tongue. It's very oily. I'll have it with some eggs. Here you go. I could get down with this if it's coated with some egg yolk. I'm up for that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to prepare myself for this bite. I can't think about it too long. Tanner told me I just need to go for it. So I guess here we go. At first it's like, oh, it's like sushi. It's not bad, which obviously it is kind of like sushi, but it's just it's getting worse. Is it like sushi? Who votes that Willa needs her own food channel? Yeah, should you try a noodle? Okay, tell him what it's like. She's chewing it thoroughly. No. <laughs> Did you like it? The last food that we're gonna have on this food tour is going to be bakfish, which is another fishbrochen, but this is fried fish, and it looks fantastic. We've got some, Willa is so excited to eat some. We've heard this is one of the most popular ones too. Seen a lot of people getting them. Hey, it's hot, so you have to blow on it, okay? Okay, all right, give it a bite. That tartar sauce is great. Mm. Oh man, I gotta get more fish to get a better tie. It's a great way to finish off this food tasting tour. 
Everything we had is really good. I would probably get again, but I think fish brochen for sure was one of my favorite things to get. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. It's been a lot of fun exploring Hamburg, especially eating our way through some of the most delicious food that we've been able to have. Thanks. See you next time. Do you want to try some? Okay. <laughs> Willow really wants some. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I'm dying at my daughter. She just cracks me up. She's holding it like... <laughs>